Are we having fun yet? I'm Christina Chase, and this video is about the pressure of time. I have a morbid sense of time passing. This probably comes from doctors telling my parents when I was two that my disease meant I would be dead by the time I was a teenager. This has given me a sense of wanting to treat every year as if it were my last. I've spent lots of time just sitting in front of daffodils, just trying to absorb them because I might never see them again. Or the warm breezes of summer, the fiery leaves of fall, the snowflakes of winter. In each season, I would think that I didn't enjoy it enough. That I didn't get everything that I could out of what little time I had left on Earth. After a while, I realized that I had no idea when I was going to die. And I tried to be a little less self-indulgent and hedonistic and do what we all do as we mature, and that's think about others and do things for others. They still have this overwhelming sense of time just slipping away. We all feel this way one time or another. It's human, especially I think in summertime, because it goes by so quickly. It's like this big red ball that bounces so high and then it starts to bounce a little more quickly with a little less amplitude until it just dribbles away and is no more. And if we have kids, then there's this outside pressure of time, of summer. You have to get their vacation right. You have to go to the ocean or the lake, maybe the ocean and the lake. You have to plan an outing with a group of people to an amusement park or the mountains or a museum, something. Haven't you done that yet? People post pictures of zip lining and picnicking. And what do you have to show for your summer? What are your kids going to write about in their school essay, How I Spent My Summer Vacation? It can be a lot of pressure and overwhelming. And if we don't do all the things that we think that we should do in that limited amount of time, we may feel let down. Maybe we feel like failures. Another summer wasted. That's the funny thing about time, though. We talk about spending it, and we talk about wasting it. But what is time, really? That's way too deep of a question for this little video. But one thing we can say is that time is more than time is other than the marked minutes and hours on a clock, and the marked days and months on a calendar. We can measure our lives, sure, about the time that's passed or what our time might be in the future, but what about right now, the present? What are you doing right now? Are you inhaling or exhaling? Are you holding a breath? Maybe you're smiling just a little or smirking. Are you looking out the window at the sky or a concrete wall across the alley? What about the person that you spoke to the other day? What did that person's eyes look like? What did their voice sound like? Was that person in need? Did that person want to share a concern or a joy with you? Did you miss that? We can miss a lot of things if we think about how we spend time or how we might waste time. But the truth is that doing something like appreciating a, a child's silly joke, you know, like just really listening to it, or allowing someone to cry on our shoulder, or even lovingly cleaning up a little mess, a bit of spilt milk, that's time that's certainly not wasted. It's it's time fulfilled because it's you fulfilled. All the moments of time in your life from the past are all together in you right now. And how you live, how you love right now, that touches eternity. That is the fulfillment of you. Like, like the poet William Blake said, to see a world 
and a grain of sand, and a heaven, and a wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and eternity in an hour. And by the way, any grain of sand, any pebble in your shoe, any rose of a person or dandelion will do. Just be open to the wonder of now, eternally now. And why not take a moment right now to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my blog, authorchristinachase.com. Talk about time well spent. And I will see you in September. Peace.